our deal was not, you know, we're probably not going to win, but we're going to be in the, you know, in it because it's an adventure and it's fun. And right. It's a cool thing to do, but we're going to do it safe. And uh, we rested every night. You know, when it got dark, we pulled over, we pulled into a cove, we anchored up. There have been times where I've definitely been really antsy with the like, but we have good wind and two hours of daylight, but looking at it, we didn't have, like especially coming up some of the passes here, there's only so many places you can anchor up because um, it's there's not a lot of coves. Yeah. I, I get a little bit like antsy because I really like racing and so I'm like, let's go, let's go, come on. <laughs> You know, my, my background is stay away from the rocks, stay away from those swells, get as far offshore as fast as you can. These guys are like, no, let's point down, let's go, let's cut right through here. It's like, no, because the worst thing that's going to happen is going to happen right before we get to that swell and we're going to get swept up on the rock. So it's, it's, it's kind of a, you know, some experience mixed with, you know, their speed. Well, it's because what we're used to is with the whole short course things, you know, sailing an extra five feet will lose you 10 places. So where it's like the shortest possible distance versus in that situation, you know, we're not going to lose anything by going around. It will take us an extra 20 minutes possibly, but in the grand scheme of things, 20 minutes is not that big. I mean, just generally, like, my dad has a lot of knowledge about boats in general because he's clearly older than I am, has been sailing longer, <laughs> so, um... Every one of those gray hairs. Just, there's always, like, those little moments. Like, I, I know how to sail and I can sail well, but every once in a while, like, there's an oh shit moment. There's just some of the fine-tuned, like, intricacies that my dad will teach. So good.